California's salmon population is nearing a breaking point after decades of decline across the state. But Poudre Creek, which runs along the Yolo Solano County line in winters, something's happening there is pretty special. CBS 13's Brady Howblab shows us how a simple hands on restoration work has sparked a huge comeback. It can be a muddy business helping bring back a population of endangered fish. And they might hang out like this. Stuff. But a little mud on the boots is a small price to pay for Puda Creek streamkeeper Max Stevenson as he works to save California's salmon. It's an all hands on deck emergency right now. For decades, salmon numbers have plummeted for a variety of reasons, from agriculture to a lack of natural spawning habitat. But one of the most damaging is closed dams. With dams, those are that area, that spawning area is blocked. Uh, and that's been happening for a long time. The salmon's life journey is long, born in rivers, heading out to the ocean, then fighting their way back upstream to lay eggs. But for years, that cycle has been interrupted. Now, Stevenson, along with UC Davis researchers and local partners, are using different techniques to make it easier for salmon to swim upstream, spawn, and rebuild their population. One of them, roughing up the creek bed. We loosen it, so that, that gravel that was cemented together we break it apart so that's loose and usable, and then we add more gravel with dump trucks and mix that up to provide more spawning habitat. It's simple but effective, and with help from fall rains and perfectly timed releases of fresh water from nearby dams, salmon returned in record numbers to Poudre Creek this year. More than 2,100 Chinook salmon, the most ever recorded. Millions of eggs and hundreds of thousands of, of baby salmon that'll go out, so we're, we're kind of like a small hatchery just right here in Poudre Creek. Stevenson says it's not just one fix, but years of restoration aimed at returning the creek to a more natural habitat. And while there's still a lot of work to be done, he's confident recovery is possible. You know, if we decide we can do something, you know, as humans, we can usually do it.